Hello everyone, thanks for checking back in with the channel. So it looks like I've got a dollar or a $500 box here of quarters and it does have the holes in the bottom of them. Looks like it's pretty circulated from what I could tell. So you'll know, you'll definitely know if it's uncirculated how shiny they'll be. Looks like a dirtier one right there also. So anyhow, I'm probably gonna bring another box in also so I have two uh, quarter box hunts. But uh, talking to the clerks up at the bank and they were mentioning that they're going to uh, give me a couple more half dollar boxes so they're going to try to order them on a rotation every thursday so crossing fingers i might have a constant rotation of half dollars coming in from two different banks uh, i've actually got an order coming in on tuesday i think it is for the bank that's just right up the road here and it's kind of funny because the teller was asking me she's like um what's nice about doing the coin hunting what do you like about us it will everything pretty much basically the community that's a huge thing and then uh, like I say collecting and pulling off a lot of the stuff that you know commemoratives and a lot of stuff that very unique to me I like doing that and then too just being able to sit down at my desk here drink a rock star energy drink with zero sugar in it caffeine for sure and uh, if you're out there rock star if you want to promote me I'm down uh, anyhow and then just opening up and looking through these playing around with my scope it's a lot of fun so anyhow let's go ahead and see if we can turn this one over I don't get these boxes a whole lot I've had a few of them I do like these though they're a little unique so let's see if we can get this one open y'all see that story about that 18 wheeler they got they stole like two million dollars in dimes or something like that out of the back of the truck that's crazy anyhow i almost got this um, there we go all right let's see if we got any silver on top here not seeing anything that stands out silver is so but hopefully we can get a silver quarter we haven't had one in a while always nice nice 1999 there's nice Okay, well, as normal, I'm gonna be looking around for the Ws. Uh, proof coins, silver for sure, any errors, any oddities, stuff like that that stands out. Foreign coins, tokens. Uh, heck, I actually haven't got a token in a quarter box in a while, so anyhow, let's go ahead and jump on in. All right, well, we're 10 rolls in, so I've actually stacked up the Bicentennial here, which, you know, usually I have them separated out from Bicentennial in front of me and in varieties and in upgrade or so forth so on. So I'm going to try to keep the mat clear, and in case we get something, we can set it down and work off the mat. Uh, we did pull another 1970D here, um, so usually I'm going to set the 65s through the 71s there. Uh, 65s are going to be looking for the DDO and the DDR, you know, 66 through, I think, 71 there. You're going to be looking for the Denver Minted ones. For them, they should have, like, D over D or DDO and stuff like that on there. Quite a, quite a few varieties for those six years there. And then the Bicentennial, you're going to be looking for the DDO or the Die Clash. that's actually on the obverse reverse of it. But this one here I'd actually pulled out of the box. Uh, this is also another 70D. And as you see this right here, this is actually a spitting eagle. This is where they would have a die clash um, that was happening. So it's pretty obvious. Now what's crazy is in the past videos, I have mentioned that an 83 Philadelphia actually has a die clash the, the same way or this, this spitting eagle portion. So that's actually pretty crazy. That's It's pretty worn in, I know it is, as you see. So I pulled off the scope here. So it's worn in. You can see this, the spitting part on top of there. Let me get it a little closer. Barely coming out. It's a little worn in, but it's definitely there. Uh, actually, let's see if we can see anything on the obverse up here. Not seeing much of anything. But as I've been reading, it's saying that it's a die clash, which makes it that's kind of interesting. Is that a double I? Hmm. That is interesting. Not for sure what that is. Definitely looks like a double I. It's almost like it's got an extra liner here and an extra piece here. And then the middle portion there you see. So I'm not for sure. That actually looks like a double die. 
that piece up here. Definitely interesting. I just popped it out, so I just wanted to bring y'all in to show y'all. So that's definitely going to be the Spitting Eagle, but that's for a 1970 Denver. Yeah, a little warning. Anyhow, let's get moving along. All right, we've moved through 16 rolls so far. Actually haven't stacked up much of anything, a couple more varieties. But under the scope here, this is actually a 1983, 1983 Philadelphia. Worn in, pretty rough shape. Um, looking on it and my broad eye, I was able to see, you see right there up under his beak, it looks like there's some more spitting eagle portions of it. So what I did was I had to go through that last roll there, reason why we're now to the 16 one, <clears throat> to try and pull another 1983 is I wanted to double check everything from what's on here. So there's actually multiple lines through this one. I'm spinning this because I got the other quarter set, but you can see the spinning eagle part that's on there. But there's a lot of serrations that are on here, a lot of extra metal. So I was moving it around and this is actually what caught my eye. This right here on the back side of the wing or back side of the, um, the branch there this portion here along the way, uh, that kind of stood out. So I wound up getting another 1983. This is the other one I pulled. And basically you can see it's just what's the wing portion of it. There's no extra lines coming through here. Uh, let's see, there's nothing actually that peaks up this way. There's no, this is an 83, so there's no spinning, spinning eagle portion on there. Let's switch back to the other one. This one here is pretty worn in, but it's definitely a die clash. Definitely quite a bit going on this one, as I mentioned. I'm not for sure. I mean, you see this actually. It's actually extra um, portion of the clash that was on the obverse there. Definitely a portion there. I don't think that's part of, because the way it would flip, the nose and everything would be on the left side of the coin. So this would almost have to be the back side of the head going to the ponytail or going to his, uh, yeah, his ponytail and stuff. So it would actually be up here where his ponytail bottom would be at. This would be where his, I'm moving down a little further. This would be where his nose would be at somewhere area. <clears throat> Pretty interesting though. Definitely a die clash. And cool though too that it actually has a spitting eagle on it also. I've never found two in the box. I found a 1983 uh, spitting eagle before but it didn't have nowhere near this much telltale signs of a, a clashing and stuff. So that's pretty awesome. I mean it's got a little bit on it but loss of a lot of meat on it. So definitely another, another one. So we've got a 1970 clash and then we've got a 1983 both spitting eagles so that's pretty awesome all right let's keep going box number one is down so added quite a few quarters up here as you see uh, all the bicentennials as mentioned 65 through 71 is there got one possible upgrader some varieties to check through and then i've been setting up the uh coins up here that i wanted to double check i did get a nicer toner there it's hard to see on the camera there but yeah, it's a little bit of toning on it. So pull this one off to the side. Check my album for that one. Let me go ahead and run through these. If I get anything, bring it back in. If not, bring it in for box number two. Okay, I actually pulled a couple of varieties here. This actually was a 1983 P in the box. A Denver Mint. Pretty good condition. A little lost for luster, but uh, really good condition all in all. So I'm going to hold that one off to the side. These two are the ones with the 70D and then the 83 Philadelphia there with the Spitting Eagle. So keep this on top. Now, this is the one I need to check for upgrades. I'm gonna wait until I get that second box to run through it. This is one of the uh, Philadelphia L. Yunke quarters there that are really tough for me to get out of the box. So I'm gonna hold on to this one also. Now, this one here, you can easily tell, in God we rust. Basically, the G and the R are pretty much, or G and the T are pretty much gone out of it. So, an odd we rust. So, yeah, that's going to be the 2005 Kansas quarter. Now, this one here, this is the new 2023 Betsy Coleman. These have a ton of errors, a ton of stuff going on with these. You can find a lot of the uh, die chips everywhere. 
cracks everywhere. So this one here has got a nice little die chip here. And then normally I'll move it down and I'll check out the FC on here. So as you see, it's actually doubled. If you get some little lighting, see the doubling that's going on. It's actually on the tip here. Not, I mean, it's kind of a bolder F on there. It's not much showing on the F. Probably turn the camera around or turn the coin around and maybe see a little more on it. Uh, as I mentioned, inside the Coleman here, you can see a lot of, there's a nice little die crack there. A lot of die chips usually inside of the Coleman. But then too, over here in the A and the R, so let me spin this. Get it lined back up. And then you get some shade on it. You can definitely see the R there. The A's got a slight time to it, but the R's got a nice little uh, kicker there also. Then we get some shade on it. Here, stop moving. <laughs> yeah, you can see the R on there for sure. Nice little die crack through it also on the top and the bottom there, but a little bit doubled on the bottom here as you see. So it's a nice little doubling, a little slight time there as i mentioned i looked on the obverse of it nothing much but this is the one that was toned this is the one that was holding off to the side it's not much too terribly much going on with it but definitely a keeper all right let me go ahead and push this off the side get in the second box here and i'll bring you back in all right went up to the bank dumped the other 500 dollars off um, had a little spare chains in the truck so i was able to um, fill up the slots that those are missing in there. Anyhow, got to the second box. Make sure I waited for the pop on it. Looks like a lot. Oh, wow. Okay. Is that the new 2023s? Eleanor Roosevelt. Yeah, buddy. So these are, this is always cool being able to get the first or actually the uncirculated boxes, the newer coins, because you may find an error that's an actual big error that most folks haven't found out about. So this is actually pretty cool. I think it's actually a full box. It's a brand new 2023s. Oh, no, nope, never mind. That rolls old. Okay. All right, so we do have a hunt. Anyhow, let's jump into it. I pulled the first roll out. I actually laid everything out on the table here. I want to show you exactly what it looks like coming directly from the Denver Mint. And I'm living right here just north of Denver. And what these uncirculated quarters look like whenever you open a roll. So you definitely want to look for the least amount of scratching. The coin damage to where the quarter lands on top of the... Hang on one second, hold the camera. On top of the head right there. Uh scratch marks contact marks that one's not too terribly up oh, never mind on the neck there so it's got a little on the neck you come over here there's a big gash in the cheek on that one so just to show you the quality of what it looks like whenever it comes out now you know you want to pick the best quarter with the most luster no damage reverse and back the reed has got the reeded edge on it has to be good so it's a lot to look for whenever you search for these uh, brand new quarters especially but if you search through them and try to get a high grade you know submit them get them slabbed or whatnot uh, it's pretty tough it's actually pretty tough um, I mean I've got a close calls at 67 68 I have nothing at 69 70 that I've ever pulled out of a roll and you know like I said there's a lot of folks that have but there's a ton of folks who haven't but yet again I haven't got that high in grade coming out of the uh, rolls. Like I said, they're uncirculated, so it's a brand new box. Anyhow, back to it. All right, I got a 2023 Denver quarter up under the scope here. Wanted to kind of run through it with y'all just to double check a few things. Maybe y'all see something I don't. Now, like I needed shade, see the shade? So that's definitely gonna be machine doubling with that, that here. If you take it off, it looks like it's possible doubling, but definitely machine doubling. Let's keep moving through here. Let's see if there's anything on here. Anything on the eyes? Nothing on the eyes. No extra. Those 2023s that come with a lot of the uh, Drilling George and extra die chips on the nose. Not seeing anything with the 2023 date. No kind of RPM. LCF. Let's get some shade on it here. Let's see. Just to make sure. That looks normal. 
that much on there and God we trust don't see anything on there actually it's come down to the hairline to the ears not seeing any extra dye chips no clashing or anything on there the hair all right let's turn it over to the reverse and I checked already on this piece right here that's actually a portion of the hat so that's probably going to be one of the prominent areas basically also in the globe structure here is going to be um, possibly some dye chips stuff like that let's turn this looks what about that T looks like it's got some doubling actually on that T there yeah see right here there's some there, bottom side of the T there. So that's pretty cool, actually. Let's keep going around the lettering. If I get my finger out of the way. Get spinning this. Possibly. I mean. Let's get some shade on it. It looks like that T there has got a little bit of serif on it. The E looks like it's got something going on in the inside. Basically on the inside here, as you see there, something right here also, some more on the inside. So it looks like it loops around, possibly. Uh, like I say, the T there definitely looks like it's got something going on. Let's go to the, possibly with the N, see that right here in the shade of the, stop the, but right here, looks like it's got a little, little bit of serif going on there. The spinner completely upside around. Dollar. Not seeing anything there. Nothing in the shade. Oh, possibly right there in the R. Let's see. Yeah, possibly there in the bottom side of the R there. It goes actually, sorry, I got this new mount, but it actually goes right here, goes inside of the R. Maybe a little bit on the inside there. Let's turn it some more. Yeah. It's just super bright from these new coins, these luster that's still on these coins. So, um, what about E Pluribus here? Let's zoom in a smidge. Uh, let's see there. Mm, look at that P. You see the line in the inside of the P coming around in the middle of the P, possibly this here. I don't know about that S either. I'm uh, not seeing anything on there, but definitely the P, you can see on top of the P there. Keep cruising. Yeah, this big light that I've got to my right here is just overpowering for what's on here. It's funny because I tried using the smaller lights on the back and it just looked like a blur. It's so bright, possibly in the end. Anyhow, that looks like it's got a little bit of doubling going on. Let's check the face over here with the ears. A little bit of damage there. Anything on the necklace? Nothing there. Nothing in the hair. A little damage there. That CAC CAC. I see anything on Universal that stands out. DE, nothing there. A lot going on in this 2023. There are a lot to look at. And they got a whole box of them too. So it's going to take a little while. If I'm definitely taking this much time to look through them. A little bitty. Actually, it's like a die crack or something going through here. Probably nothing major, but definitely on the T there. I mean, that stands out like a broken leg. That's pretty crazy. So that's, I, I'm thinking it's definitely gonna be some doubling on this one. But yet again, it's a full box of them. So let's, uh, yeah, let's keep moving along. That's kind of wild. All right, I got another one up under the scope here. This is actually just the next one. Uh, you can see right here on the T, on the R, zoom in a smidge, but just to make sure I take and cast some shadow over it, 
you can definitely see the R stands out. You can see the T stands out. It's actually split. It's a pretty nice split there. And then you come over here to the edging. You can tell, oh, you can tell at the end here. Also inside the U there, outside of the U here, there's a little bitty piece there. Just to spin it for you to show you a different angle. See that? You can definitely tell it's there. Standing out, nice split. Mm, don't see on the T, nothing on the E, D, S. So it's definitely doubling on the back. A reverse. I'm not seeing much of chips actually, which is kind of mind blowing. I figured I'd see quite a few die chips. I want to say there was one down here somewhere, but got a nice little, it's not, I don't think it's damage on the coin, but like a strike through or like a little bit of a lamination error there. So you see damage up to the C is kind of like it's tucked up under the C. So that's pretty interesting. Yep, just another one, third one I've looked at. What I'm gonna do is, is actually in the video here, it's gonna be a to be continued, or basically it's just gonna be a solid 2023 Denver hunt. There's a, it's gonna take me a while because this is what I've been through so far. These are ones with all the die cracks and the doubling, and it's mainly on the reverse. There's nothing on the obverse. Uh, I do have the scope and my little camera and stuff like that set up, so it's gonna take me a while to run through all of these because I've only actually taken out the first roll. So as you see, 50 quarters laid out here, except for this over here. But anyhow, it's gonna take a while, but just wanted to bring y'all in and let y'all know I did stack up the 1983 Denver there. It's pretty good condition. Just a little lost for luster, but got a lot left on it, really nice. So we did have the 1970 D and the 1983 uh, Philadelphia Speeding Eagle. This is the one with the heavy die clash on the back. This is the one you can tell with the Spinning Eagle portion up there by the wing. Now, actually the 19, uh, 1970 is supposed to have a broken wing. I wanna say it goes from like the beak all the way down through. Uh, I think it's the 70 or the 74, I think it's the 70. But anyhow, a nice little Spinning Eagle there. Um, it's, it's circulated. It doesn't have a whole ton of the uh, spinning portion there, but definitely the 1983 P did. Now we did have in Godry Rust, we had the doubled FC with the uh, uh, die chip that's on the, the bird there, the uh, plane and whatnot. And then the 2012 El Yunque Philadelphia quarter. And I did look up for the 2006 quarter that I had set aside for the upgrade. It wouldn't upgrade, so I had a better one in the album. Anyhow, as I mentioned, I'm going to go ahead and cut it here. But make sure you stay tuned for the next video because that is going to be basically... All of the ones I can stack up here for die cracks, uh, die chips, doubling, anything that I find on the obverse and reverse, since these are brand new quarters and they just came out of the mint. So anyhow, um, hope you liked the video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up, please. Pop a comment in there if you got a question. Um, and y'all have a great day.